Do Indians not know their own history? Is their rich and diverse past missing from their syllabi? Let's delve into these intriguing questions. The way history is taught in India is a complex topic, influenced by a variety of factors. From the long-lasting impact of colonial rule, where history was often used to serve colonial interests, to the post-independence era, where attempts to reclaim and reinterpret history were made, albeit not always comprehensively. The vastness and diversity of India's history, spanning thousands of years and countless cultures, present its own challenges in terms of coverage. Add to this the focus on specific historical periods and the influence of political ideologies, and you have a veritable minefield of debates and controversies. Despite these challenges, efforts are constantly being made to reform and improve the way history is taught, while many Indians seek additional avenues to understand their past. Buckle up as we embark on this journey, exploring the complex and diverse terrain of Indian history education. The roots of Indian history education lie in its colonial past. During the British rule, history teaching was a tool to glorify British achievements, often sidelining or distorting the narrative of India's past to serve colonial interests. The portrayal of Indian history was reframed through a lens that suited the colonial masters, leading to an emphasis on certain narratives over others. This colonial legacy has left a lasting imprint on the way history is taught in India. With independence in 1947, India sought to reclaim and reinterpret its history. This was an era of nationalist movements that sought to shed the colonial lens and interpret the past from an indigenous perspective. Yet, these efforts have faced criticisms. It's argued that they didn't fully encompass the vast tapestry of India's diverse past, sidelining certain periods and perspectives. The nationalist movement's impact on history education was significant, but not without its limitations. The post-independence period saw a nationalist reinterpretation of history, albeit with its own set of challenges. Indian history is a rich tapestry of cultures, languages and religions, but not all threads are equally highlighted. This vast subcontinent has witnessed the rise and fall of numerous civilizations, each contributing a unique hue to the grand tableau of history. Yet, the challenge lies in encapsulating this extensive timeline within the confines of school curricula. It's akin to painting a panorama with a narrow brush. Textbooks often spotlight certain periods like the sophisticated urbanization of the Indus Valley, the philosophical musings of the Vedic era, the grandeur of the Mughal Empire, and the gallant struggle for independence led by Mahatma Gandhi. However, this focus tends to sideline other significant periods and regional histories, thereby creating a skewed narrative. The tapestry of Indian history is vast and varied, and every thread holds a story, a lesson, a revelation. The vastness of Indian history often leads to an unbalanced focus, leaving many significant periods in the shadows. History, they say, is written by the victors. In India, it's often written by the ruling party. The shaping of history is rarely devoid of political influence. In the context of Indian history education, it's no different. The content of textbooks has been influenced by the ideologies of the political parties in power, leading to the creation of narratives that suit their agendas. This has sparked numerous controversies and debates. For example, the portrayal of certain historical figures and events can shift dramatically depending on the political climate. A freedom fighter for one party might be portrayed as a rebel or a traitor by another. This political tug of war extends beyond individual figures to entire historical periods and cultural narratives. The result? A history curriculum that shifts with the political tide, leaving students navigating a sea of contested narratives. The political tug of war over historical narratives continues to shape Indian history education. Change is the only constant and Indian history education is no exception. Efforts are underway to make it more inclusive, diverse and accurate. Yet these reforms face hurdles like resistance from vested interests, bureaucratic red tape and ideological differences. Supplemental learning through academic research, online resources, museums and cultural institutions fills the gaps, expanding our understanding of India's diverse past. 
As we strive for a more inclusive and accurate portrayal of our past, the road to reform is fraught with challenges. So, do Indians not know their own history? It's not quite as black and white. The way history is taught in India carries the influence of its colonial past, nationalist movements and political ideologies. It grapples with the challenge of encompassing India's rich, diverse history, often focusing on certain periods more than others. Yet many Indians supplement their learning through various resources. While there's room for improvement, it's an oversimplification to say Indians don't know their own history. After all, history is not just about the past, it's about how we understand and interpret it today.